So we'll look at the purchasing options provided by AWS. So there are five purchasing options. The first one is your on-demand service. On-demand service. Now what is on-demand service? On-demand service means the moment you wish, you create the services. The services can be anything. Services can be your building of an EC2 instance, building of an RDS. So I want the service now, I'm creating it right now. Unlike on-premise data center. In on-premise data center, what happens? I need a server now, I need to wait for certain approvals, certain uh, hardware to be shipped to my data center, and then you assemble it and then create it. However, right now, what are we going to do is, the moment we wish, we create the service. That is on-demand service. The pricing on on-demand service is done by per second billing. Per second. Per second billing. Per second billing means, if your instance is running for 30 minutes, 30 minutes means how many seconds? 30 into 30 into 60 into 0 0.1 dollars that would be the price charged for your system on demand services scheduled service the next one is scheduled Scheduled means, if in case you require a system from 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. Okay, so what you will be doing, you will be defining the configuration and requesting the AWS. And AWS will pop that instance at 2 a.m. sharp till 3 a.m. sharp. So you would be charged for that timestamp. Okay, that is scheduled. So we are scheduling something. The third one is reserved. Reserved is quite often used by mostly by the company or commercial purposes. Reserved means I have created an instance now and I reserved it for five years. Okay, so no one is going to touch it. AWS is not going to touch it or some other person is not going to touch it. Okay, and I have to pay in one shot for five years. It's like either you take a room on a monthly rental basis or you take on a lease for next two years. Which one is beneficial? Two years, obviously. The fourth one is the most interest is dedicated. Dedicated means tenancy. Tenancy means, for example, in cloud, what happens? On top of a storage, there is something known as virtualization created. It can be a hardware virtualization, it can be a software virtualization. Okay, or which we also call as para virtual machines. If there's a hardware virtualization, so what happens on top of a storage, there are multiple operating systems which can run in parallel, okay, due to that virtualization. The thing is, there is a shared tenancy right now, multiple OS running using the same storage. To avoid that, one of the customer can ask, you know, I want one single storage for my entire operating system. That is dedicated. It's like renting a PG's room or taking an entire home. So an entire home will always be expensive. That is what dedicated is all about. It's the most expensive service. Dedicated is, means complete uses of the storage without it being shared. Fifth one is spot bidding. Spot bidding means now spot bidding is something really interesting. It has two concepts. First concept is your price fluctuation. And then second concept is bidding. So for example, I am selling a pen and I set the base price 5 rupees. You are giving me 6 rupees. Some other person is giving me 7 rupees. Whom should I sell? The one who is selling means uh, for giving me 7 rupees. So the question is why is the person uh, raising his price to 7 rupees when the base price is 5 rupees only. The reason is the demand is high, supply is less. So that's why the price is fluctuating 5, 6, 7. Okay. So that's why <coughs> that is what we need to ponder on. In spot bidding, that is what the concept comes in.